What's going on guys? It's that time of the month when I do my typical collaboration with Dossier Perfumes. We do have two more fragrances. This time around they happen to send me two that I have covered before and they're actually quite good clones of what they're cloning. These are both some Creed clones. We have their version of Silver Mountain Water and their version of Aventus which I'm actually pretty big fan, not super huge fan, but pretty big fan for the most part of their Aventus clones. Um, I did a giveaway might have even been close to two years ago, year and a half ago, something like that. And that was what the giveaway winner had chose. So I haven't smelled in a long time. Uh, and it's been a little while since I've smelled their version. I think it's musk musky green tea. Yeah, of Silver Mountain Water. So they're both pretty good. We'll sit here, give it a spray, discuss them. And at the end, we're going to give away one bottle to one lucky winner. So stay tuned. So, we will start with Musky Green Tea. Let me show you guys the box with the label, Musky Green Tea. That is their version of Silver Mountain Water. For those of you not familiar with Dossier, they are clean sourced, made in France. And the beauty about this is you can try it from the bottle and if you don't like it, you just return it for a full refund. And first time buyers, I believe this is still going on. I'll have it in the description. Uh, you get 20% off, plus you can stack the coupon with TLTG10 discount code for another 10%. I'll have all that info down below in the description. Here we go, musky green tea. It's an 18%. All the info on the card. And here is the bottle. Okay, so pet peeve of mine. Those of you that have seen my dossier videos, there was a stretch when I was getting these with bubbles on the label a lot. This one is a little crooked and has bubbles, so shame on them. Quality control is not that good. You can see that there's right above the R, there's a big long bubble in the label. Right above the N, you can see the bubbles really well right there. And if I hold it straight, you can, if you just follow the top line, you can see how crooked it is. So shame on them, shame on them. Uh, step up your quality control. For a while, I wasn't getting them with bad labels in any way. They weren't crooked, they didn't have bubbles in them. And uh, I was proud of them. I thought they were paying attention and listening and doing better with their quality control. Um, oh, there's more bubbles right here. I didn't even notice. Let me turn it to where you can see there's a long bubble right there. So shame on them. Terrible quality control here with this sticker in particular on this label. Shame on them. Like I said, it's a pet peeve of mine. Not a fan of that. But the thing I am a fan of is these magnetic caps. Always have been. And they have pretty good atomizers on them really puts out sharp inky and metallic that is silver mountain water we'll give test strip two good sprays I actually just went all over my legs i'm wearing shorts you do get a lot of the tea comes out right away on the paper it's very herbal and herbaceous on the test strip immediately when you spray it out in the air i got more of that black current inky type of feel very metallic I got to give them this though, the quality of the oils that they use, they definitely do use great oils. This is just a personal preference pet peeve of mine with the bubbles in the labels. That stuff drives me nuts. Absolutely drives me nuts. You know, luckily for them, the fragrances are good, but stuff like this matters to consumers. You're better than this dossier. You're better than this. It's just pleasant to smell. Like I said, the quality's there. It doesn't smell cheap and synthetic. I believe their clones of niche fragrances go in the $40 range for these 50 ml bottles. And that's before all of the stackable discounts and stuff like that. So you can smell like Silver Mountain Water for a very affordable price. Their money back guarantee, you know, no questions asked return policy, I think really suits them because not everybody's going to like their fragrances. And this gives you an opportunity to try it and just get a full refund if you don't like it. So I do like that they do that. Top notes of green tea, bergamot, and mandarin. Mid notes of pettigrain, one of my favorite notes. Neroli and black currant. Base notes of musk, sandalwood, and orris. Doesn't come across as very powdery, but it does have that inky metallic vibe to it that Silver Mountain Water is known to have. But like I said before, here on the paper, a lot of herbaceous 
tones to the scent. The T note, probably that pedigrain adding to it. That's another mild green fresh note. It just smells good. As you can see, I just keep going back to smell it. Definitely some good smelling stuff. Disappointed in the bubbles and the label, but the fragrance smells good. Next, we are taking a look at its upside down. Musky Oak Moss, that is their version of Creed Aventus, the famed Creed Aventus. Same thing, has the card, here we go. Put that to the side, let's see how the label came out here. Still got some bubbles, shame on them. Look at that big long bubble right there and then there's a couple little small ones on the bottom. The label's not crooked, they just have some bubbles. Like I said, you're better than this dossier. Time to have a conversation with the person or recalibrate the machine if it's a machine that puts these labels on. So that does not look good to consumers. I am a consumer. I do not like that. I've complained many times about this, guys. So, top notes of apple, pineapple, and bergamot. Mid notes of rose, birch leaf, and patchouli. Base notes of musk, oak moss, and amber. Same thing. You have the magnetic cap. Let's give it a spray. Two good sprays. Out in the air. It smells really good. Really close out in the air. Wow, the fruitiness is popping on the paper. I'm actually surprised at how much the freshness is coming out. And believe it or not, I get a little bit of smokiness too. Normally, the fresh notes kind of fall flat when it's on a test strip. And the darker nuances will shine. A lot of pineapple here. Heavy dose of pineapple in the paper. Even a little bit of the rose, but touch of ambergris. Not much apple, it's a little bit there. Like there's other citrus smell and fruitiness to it, but a lot of pineapple. Not a heavy dose of black currant, but I do get some of the birch. That's the biggest thing is I'm surprised I'm getting pineapple and birch here on the test strip. Like I said, this is a pretty good clone. Is it the best clone of Creed Aventus I've ever smelled? No, of course not. But it is a pretty good one because of the quality, and they pretty accurately depicted the blend for the most part, but it smells good. You know what I mean? It just smells good to sniff on. Performance, if I remember correctly, was above average without being a beast. I want to say in that six to eight hour range was what I had got from it the one or two times I wore it because I gave myself a few sprays on skin before it ended up going to the giveaway winner in that video. It's solid. I don't think, like I said, I don't think it's the greatest Aventus clone out there. There's several that I own that I would reach for over this. But it's solid. You could do a lot worse. Um, in the price bracket, it's going to be competing with fragrances like Af Afnan Supremacy Silver and Club Dinui Intense Man. That's what's going to fall into a similar price bracket. And I can't wholeheartedly recommend this over those. I do really like those, especially Supremacy Silver. Really like Supremacy Silver. This smells closer to Supremacy Silver than Club Dinui Intense Man, obviously, because Club Dinui Intense Man isn't a one-to-one -one of Aventus in the first place, whereas Supremacy Silver, they were definitely going the route of copying the scent profile. Same thing here with Musky Oak Moss. They did a very good job. Not knocking the fragrance, I'm just saying it's, I can't see myself reaching for this one over some of the other Aventus clones that I do have. But damn, it does smell good. I have to give them that. Let's get into this giveaway. Well now, we have a bottle of each. We're gonna do the standard stuff we do for my giveaways. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe to TLTG Reviews. Down below in the comments, I want you to comment TLTG and the name of the fragrance that you would like an opportunity to win. I have the names of both fragrances on screen for you guys to make it easy. Uh, this is open to continental United States subscribers only. Um, winning comment will be pinned, will be hearted, and will be replied to to alert the winner and to let them know to go ahead and email me to identify Verify identity and set up shipping. Once again, you're going to need to like this video, subscribe to TLTG Reviews, comment down below TLTG in the name of the fragrance, continental US only, leave it open for about seven or eight days, and then, like I said, I'll pin the winning comment, heart it, and reply to it to alert the winner. And uh, somebody's going to win whichever bottle they choose for sure. Uh, and until next time, I will say if you get your hands on either one and you give them a spray now, I'm not sure if you thank me later or not.
I'm not sure, but one of you, one of you will have an opportunity to do so. So good luck in the giveaway. Thank you.